he doesn't care. He didn't care that day. Um, I was there with my husband and with another veteran spouse, and both of us sort of looked at each other and went, huh? This wife of a veteran with PTSD says Hare just brushed her off during a meeting in Halifax while he was Veterans Affairs Minister last week. You might remember Hare was under fire over comments he made to thalidomide survivors, saying, quote, everyone has a sob story. He later apologized for those comments. And as our David Cochran tells us, the embattled minister is having to defend himself today yet again. Hey, Fred. What? Blair Davis what? finds happiness with his animals. <laughs> Give me, you silly boy. But beneath the smile is a former soldier driven to the edge of suicide by PTSD. Yeah, my boy. His yeah, wife, Kim, boy. quit her job as a college instructor to support him yeah. at the peak of his despair. She's my pillar, my stone. Like, uh... She's the one that I go to when I'm having a bad day, when I'm having a bad night, other than my animals. So, you know, without her, I probably wouldn't be here right now. That's one of the things I but when she like went looking for help from Kent Hare when Hare was Veterans Affairs Minister, Kim Davis says it went bad. And he's like, well, you married him. It's your responsibility. And I'm like, yeah, I married him, but you injured him. In no uncertain terms did I say that. It's a now familiar pattern. Hare meets with an ordinary Canadian. They complain. Oral questions. The opposition pounces. So instead of being compassionate, this minister launched a taxpayer-funded political attack on a veteran's wife. Hare Mr. denies it. I met with Kim Davis some two years ago, and there I thank her and her husband for their tremendous service to our country. Right on, the, Prime the Prime Minister is left to manage it. The minister responded to those uh, particular uh, uh, allegations and he apologized for earlier ones. Blair and Kim Davis watched the drama in Ottawa unfold on their television. Mm -hmm. They weren't impressed. What should they do? They should remove him from being a minister. He has no, um, he has no empathy for anybody that he is put in place to help protect and advocate for. It's not the portfolios, it's the person. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.